called Fafa Fui since he had the baby? Have you no. called him on the phone? No, I haven't. Here, yeah, listen to this. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available oh, right boy. now. But if you leave your name and a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as we can. <laughs> Jackass homo. Uh, you know how he came in the other day and he said, you know, both you guys have taught me something. And one thing I will never do is I will never put my child on my answering machine. Yeah, he's already me, Mary and Jackson. <laughs> oh, Jackson. I mean, it's like, oh, man, do you have to act like a jerk when you have a baby? They got to let everybody know. It's and the, the guy, greatest accomplishment. And guys have babies and they start sounding like girls. Did you, did you hear, like, me, Jackson, and Mary are having fun. It's like, Gary, mellow out. We're you know? probably playing with the baby right now. Get to, get to, get to, get to. Why don't they have the kid poop into the answering machine so we can hear that? <laughs> Dude. John's such a douche. Why is he a douche? Ah. Because Custodio because John goes, uh, you better get in there. They're talking about your answering machine. I go, well, how did he know about it? He goes, uh, I don't know. Yeah. And like, he's the only one in the show that's ever called me yeah, of course I've called you <laughs> idiot I've heard it I've hung up you, you've got a few hang ups last week that was me getting you hung disgusted up as soon as you heard I it did. I did I can't I mean oh yes I did oh yeah that'll make you hang up hi uh, Gary and Mary hi. Jackson hi. Are not available right now Jackson's not a, Jackson's not available right Mayor, now uh, Robin don't even talk about answering machines they're the queen of wacky answering machine messages oh but they're not like this Nobody is home, no. <laughs> Very breathy, too. I was trying to be quiet, actually. While Jackson was sleeping? That's true, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to keep changing your message? I, you know, I have the boring. same message. for. But what do you care? You don't you have to don't call it. You don't listen to it. <laughs> no, but people, people say, ah, change the message. But, but why? What do you care? I feel like it. What do you want? And, and, uh, is that, me, Jackson, it's not the law. and Mary... But why do you have so much free time to do stuff like change your answer? Like that require that's got to be low on the priority list. Howard, it requires about thirty seconds. Yeah, so you do it like right but it's just I did like, like sort of like if you're a really busy person, you don't have time for that kind of stuff. Well, I know it makes me a bad employee because I have time to change my answering machine message. I God, think the whole, I just can't even relate whole, to that. I think the whole audience recognizes. There's that. There's so many things you could be doing. I, I mean, learning computers or, or 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 practicing a sport or doing something that. Practicing a sport, what'd you have in mind? I don't know anything. You know, go out and play football with you. Don't be friends. Do something. Oh, here, oh, here's Gary's new message. This, that's no, no, wait a minute. Come on, when was? So I have two lines. Oh, you have two lines. Oh, so he's got another one. Two, two, I haven't heard this one. Two, two simil- Jackson messages. Two similar but separate Jackson messages. <laughs> Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary nor Gary nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Uh, just leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. <laughs> You're so dare, witty. How dare you laugh? <laughs> how witty. Uh, Jackson will be ready in three or four. So we'll be, after, when we call now, we'll have to hear Jackson on the phone. I promise. We'll start having Jackson you on the phone. You know he's going to be Kathy answering. Lee no, no, no. Yeah. I, I told you guys two things I learned about raising kids from you is ne- I'm never going to let my kid leave a message on the answering machine or answer the phone. You know Emily's 11 years old. She has yet to answer the phone. What's I, she, I don't have her answer the phone. She doesn't, she doesn't have her own phone? No. She does not. Really? Oh, I thought she did for some reason. No. And, she, and Emily never... Well, no one answers the phone in your house. Right. They don't answer the phone. No, but even, even no there are times we pick up. It's rare. I don't allow them to pick up the phone. If there's any, We have an answering machine. Right. And the answering machine goes into the house. Now, if it's one of Emily's friends, I pick up the phone. I, don't, I tell the kids, you don't have to worry about picking up the phone. I'll answer it. it the worst thing in the world are these people with their kids. Because, you know, my daughter now has friends. You know, both my daughters, the 8-year-old and the 11-year-old, have friends who you call up. And since they're four, the parents allow them to answer the phone. Now, the parents know what's going on. Yeah, they encourage it. And you call, hi, is your mommy home? Yeah, you know, you're talking to a, a, a little retard. Yeah, and you get hung up on. Lots yeah. of different things happen when these kids pick up the these phone. These parents, I think it's so cute. Oh, look how cute she's talking Aww. on the phone. She's, we have our own little answering service. Oh, have you ever dealt with the people who have to put the baby on the phone? Yeah, well, You're yeah, trying I, to get business done. I'm talking about people letting their kid pick up the phone. How about Bowie? <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievably obnoxious and boring and dull and uh, uh, invasive into my life. If I have to call you over something, don't put that little monster on the phone. Nobody else <laughs> finds it cute but you. Your glob of semen makes a baby, and you think that you're the only one who's ever done it. You're so proud. Oh, so proud. Oh, look what I made. Most of the time you threw that away, but now you're proud. <laughs> Meanwhile, you made nothing. You have no idea how that baby got made. All you did was, was, was um, 
You Sh- did what you well, do. You know, Shoot off. You are right. You are right. Albert Einstein can make the same baby that a murderer can make. Right. It's not a difficult thing to do. I mean, if somebody shows me a, 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 a thing they drew, a piece of art, uh, some work they've done, I can appreciate it. The retarded can make a baby. Yeah. Oh. Retards can procreate. <laughs> <laughs> my rule is when the kid's old enough to pay the phone bill, they can answer the phone. <laughs> I, my kids have yet to answer the phone. I'm talking about picking up the answering machine. In other words, sometimes my wife and I are very busy in the house, and we hear on the answering machine, that, let's say it's my mother or someone like that. And I go, oh, my God, I can't get to the phone. Rather than say, Emily, pick up the phone or Deborah, pick up the phone. I just don't pick up the phone. I'll call that person back. I will not but, subject people to my children to, you know, a rambling. But if Emily hears grandma on the phone, she won't pick it up? Like if she no. Hears- Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm telling you. No, the God's good, honest truth. It's a good thing. You're damn right it's good because people are obnoxious. I but know how obnoxious But the reason the kids get so into it is because even as they are very, very young and just gurgling baby talk, when they're holding the baby, they will say, oh, let, wait a minute, let me put, say hello to the baby. Yeah. So all of a sudden now you've tried to talk to them and you're like yelling at the right, baby. Right, at a baby. The the baby was, no, was eating the phone. <laughs> Can I just chime in? When you really feel like the biggest idiot is when you start trying to talk to them and then the kid gets bored with you so the parent gets back on and you're like, you're like cooing and acting like. <laughs> An idiot. And what's with, you, with your answering message, though? You seem to be intelligent. I don't I understand why you do that. Hi. Hi, uh, this is Gary. Oh, we would, like, oh, Gary's involved with the baby. Pat, what is bragging. Exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> I want to see baby. in six months if he's still so involved. <laughs> Well, well, he, yeah. well but he has tons of free time. Uh, you know, I'm going to get bored with the kid. I'm already bored with him now. <laughs> he's not now. inventive. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are vermin. <laughs> he sounds like <laughs> Allison Steele on this answering message. Hi, Hello. Hello. Hey, Bert. <laughs> hey, maybe I get some. Did Allison Steele coach you for this? I'll get some of that music and run it behind. Yeah, right. <laughs> Zamfir. Your name and a message. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as we can. <laughs> Were you playing with Jackson right now? Actually, the message I wanted to leave was if we don't pick up the phone right now, we're probably sort of busy. But hey, well, you know. if you can't pick up the phone, why do I have to know why you can't pick up the phone? Well, you don't have to know anything. You don't even so have to. Why do, you, why do why do I have, why do why if I am a caller to your home do I have to know? We're probably playing with Jackson. Like maybe, what if you're watching TV? That's false information. Oh, <laughs> he's billboarding. Yeah, he's like billboarding what he's doing. Why don't you change your message every hour? You're coming up right here? now. I'm watching the football game. So. Hi, right? Hi, I'm about to go. Do you think you're shower? that important that people really want to know what you're doing? Hi, this is Gary and Mary and Jackson. Coming up at eight, we'll be bathing. Jackson, like Jackson. Jackson's the only baby on the planet. We're probably with Jackson playing. But what, 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 are, you, what are you afraid? The adoption service is going to call and take the baby away? <laughs> See, we're really good already parents. already starting him out to be an obnoxious kid yeah. by paying so much attention. We're really good parents. Oh, yeah, everybody, paying attention to him. Everybody has to pay attention to Jackson. Yeah. Gary, you know what your assignment is? Go buy a bra and wear it in here tomorrow. <laughs> right? Because you're like a girl. What? How far is it away from Cody? Yeah, right. Yeah. Not, not, not far at all. I'm sure Kathy Lee has the identical message on her machine. <laughs> Cody is moving his bowels now. I can't come to the phone, so we're Wait. probably wiping. Yeah, Robin, Robin's got portraits of Tut, but I have to be worried about I don't care as long as I don't have to <laughs> hear it on the, on the phone. They're on the phone. No, they're on your wall. I don't get an update what she's doing with her cat. Oh, yes, you do. You get it every day. She comes On the here. answering machine? Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Not on the answering machine. <laughs> Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary, nor Gary, nor Jackson. Is nor Jackson. To the phone. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Uh, just leave a message and we'll get back to you. <laughs> did you, did you write back. that out? No, no. Where did Nor come from? I, I mean, was it nor, nor Gary, nor Mary? Since he moved to Connecticut. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shakespeare. I'm very full of myself now. Nor Jackson. Nor, <laughs> nor. Thou must call back. <laughs> Neither rain oh, nor snow nor sleet. There's another guy with answering machines. Nor, <laughs> nor. Use your finger. All right. <laughs> but that's like a goofy joke line. What, he doesn't have that on his home answering machine, use your finger. <laughs> that's true. Uh, nor Jackson, nor Mary, nor I. <laughs> nor, nor snow. How many nor, times did you? Tell, I want brain. you to be honest. You didn't nail that on the first take. I no, bet I you, did. I did both of them. I swear. Did you? Yeah. I bet you. He, yeah, I bet you. He like you know redoes no. them. No, no. It takes two seconds. You stand in front of the phone. Well, he's probably not happy with him if he did them in one take, and right. he'll be changing it soon. Not breathy enough. Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary nor Gary nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone. He'll nor. be ready in about three or four years. 
Uh, really? How long for Gary to get ready? So in three or four years, <laughs> I, have, I have a better. Uh, I so in three or four years, Jackson's going to be answering the phone. You think? No. You're going to allow that, Howard? It's called. Uh, so when I call you, poetic life. I'll get some little kid mumbling into the phone. Hello, Hopefully, yeah. Louis. But what he says is neither <laughs> Gary nor Mary nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone right now. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Right. So when will Gary and Mary be ready? All I know is it's like you're calling this guy's house and. <laughs> They're painting this picture <laughs> you guys, on I, the phone answering message like, yeah, wow, down. we are really busy. Yeah. We uh, Even Jackson is busy. There is such importance going on here that I we can't have, possibly answer the phone. In like fact, we're give, here. We're home. But, but we're, we're too busy to we're answer. We're too busy to answer. <laughs> I would like to give you and Robin an award right now. Yeah. I'd like to give you an award. I've never heard a message to, like that. For to take nothing and dissect it for so long. You think that this is nothing? Yes. Okay. In the scheme of life, Keep dreaming. this is like the end of a fingernail. It's it nothing. is such an obnoxious it's dirt. Thing. Yeah. It's a piece of dust. Yeah, good. What do you call it? This that message again? would make Norman Rockwell minutia. puke. You call it minutia. <laughs> This is fascinating to me. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available right now. Yeah, we knew. We kind of knew Jackson wasn't available. We know you're all not available. The answering machine is picking up. Yeah, I'm not calling for Jackson, but Gary has to tell you what he's we, doing in the house. Call, I love this. Can we just call Robert's answering machine now? Sure. <laughs> I'm dying to know. I bet you it's not as stupid as this. It might be. It depends on what week it is. <laughs> I don't Worth change mine every week. Worth a try. Changes his every day. <laughs> Sometimes twice a day. I know. Howard, I haven't changed my answering machine Damn, in yeah, six months. We'll get back to you. As soon as we can, um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back. As we're probably as we playing with Jackson right now. If not, we're probably, you know, he might be sleaping. And uh, why don't I leave a more extensive You're message? You're way insignificant compared to playing with Jackson, right. whoever you are. Yeah, that's phone. what it sounds to me. <laughs> Let me see if I know Robin's number. Do I? I? Uh, my phone line isn't working. My oh. phone line is down. What? Oh, is it? Yeah. How did that happen? The I communication center is off? It's all off, yeah. Wow. So nobody could hear my annoying message this week. Leave a message, please. <laughs> my favorite one. I have that one on tape, and I'm going to get it. I don't care. all of five I'm seconds I'm for that Robin's message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has had some classics. <laughs> I just don't want updates on Gary and his kid on the phone. Who I mean, Mine it's just so updates. stupid. Hello. Leave a message, please. <laughs> <laughs> That should have had, like, rule Britannia under it. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. It does, that doesn't annoy me half as much as yours does. There's nothing there it. but the facts. Please. Please. No, no, just give me the facts. Tell me what I got to do, and I'll do it. I don't want to hear about Jackson. <laughs> Baby Jackson. Oh, Hi, Gary. It's Robin checking in. Of course I'm going. If I say I'm going, I'm going. You shouldn't worry. I just don't sit around the house waiting for people to call me. I have things to do. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess everybody's meeting at Howard's house from what I, under I understand. That's not a message. So, uh, no, this is I a message I left on his machine. Yeah, I didn't see the tape. <laughs> I have things to do. <laughs> it's not a message, though. No, it's not, but it could have been. All right. Just to change it, will you, man? Get with it. No, I just have a new. Nobody phone. wants to hear. Gary, you don't know. Let me ask you something. If you called someone's house, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm, my, and I'm like, and you're usually Hi. thinking of what you need to do really quickly. Yeah, you know, people are calling because they have something to, get to, to some for, wisdom for, to give for to you. Starters, you never hear my answering machine message. Just shows you how I'm sure I do. Shows you what a liar you are. If, La too. if Laura doesn't I call, for, do. if Laura doesn't call for you, you hit the star how button. And it's, Howard, let me finish. Wrong. If Laura doesn't call for you, you hit the star button and you skip the message. No, I don't. You never skip because the a lot of times, if you call your machine right now, you hit the star button, it doesn't skip. Absolutely, not it does, absolutely. So you're going to tell me it does always skip? Always. No. Why would it do something? Sometimes I'm not. It doesn't always do it. It's You're technology. The, you are such a liar. I'm not lying. Of course it always Why does. Why are you arguing with me? I'm telling you because I sit and listen to your message. Well, then that's your headache. You know and that. Why would you give it? And let me say something. Whether I listen to your message or not, why would you treat people to a message like that? None of your like business that? what I do. What do you mean it's none of your business? None of your business what I do at my house. I'm telling you, you sound stupid. Fine, so I'd like to sound stupid. I sound stupid for 10 years on this show. I don't care what, what you I, do. What should I, make I don't care what you do at your house. I am telling you, you sound like an idiot. Okay. That's well, all because you obviously don't know. And you know everything. That's why I have you. Right. You're God. That's right. No, you know what, Gary? You know, I was complaining you know, about Gary. I was complaining it. about Gary on Friday. Were you? To somebody. Mm -mm. Well, that narrows it down to every day of the week. Yeah. So I said, you know, it's really funny. I said uh, to this person, you know, Gary didn't do this. He doesn't do that. You know, he does some things right. But, man, the guy can't get organized. He doesn't. He just isn't together. And this person said to me, Gary's never had a real job. 
I said, what do you mean he hasn't? He's worked. No, no, no. He's never worked anywhere but for you. And it's like, it's a big clowning around thing. And he also thinks he's a radio personality because, you know, he's known. So he has a fame thing going. I know who he's talking about. And you can't tell him anything. Just not true. So I said, I know what you mean. Because he doesn't ever think he could get fired. And he's probably right. So far, he's been. So far, he's been right. <laughs> I mean, he's pulled some pretty big boo-boos. I know. But uh, the point is that at some point, you would have let, once the organization got bigger and more elaborate, you would have brought in a highly organized person who has skills mm -hmm. to take over Gary's job, and you would have phased him out. How did my answering machine turn into uh, that I can't work Because you don't, listen to me, even about the answering machine, you don't take advice. You sit and you fight and you should struggle. I, should I call you about every single thing? No. I am just telling you this is one I item how to wipe my that is butt. really Can dumb. I call you about no, it? you don't have to call me. You don't you have to sure? call me about it. Gary, you, you sure? never call me for advice on anything. You, That's you, the unfortunate sure? thing. Because I should. Thursday, I you you set up, Thursday, you set up an appointment for me. Did you call my uh, assistant and tell her that I'm going to be doing something it's, Thursday? It's for Tuesday. Oh, and for I did call you. It's for assistant. Tuesday? Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, because it is. it's not listed in my book, and she says you don't know anything about she it. She got a memo on it. She knows all about it. I asked you first. And then we sent her a memo. Oh, that is that's a memo about that? I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about the movie screening? Yeah. The, yeah. the private screening that was set up for me. Right. That doesn't look like a private screening about me. It looks like a general information thing. Howard, it's t it's too... Do me a favor. Everybody Don't from me. write anything. Wait a second. Call my assistant and tell her you, when I have an appointment. You're Just a, call her up and tell her. No one knows... No one can even make out what this... She handed it to me. I said, let me read this. I go, no, no, no. This must be a function for K-Rock for yes, anybody. Right. I said, Gary it's told me on Laura. Thursday. How could, how could it be anything different? Because we think it's a general release it for says everyone. To Laura. Why would it say a general release? It it says to, would you listen to me? It says to <laughs> Laura because we get lists from everyone on every... Kathy sends tons of memos to Laura. You know but that, that. But the, I know what you're talking about. The memos that come out about station... Just Howard. call my... I'm telling you what I want done. Pick up the phone and call my assistant. You don't have to sit and waste time typing. Pick up the phone and tell I, I have an appointment. I was told to send it in writing. Oh, my God. But I was just doing what I was he told. He said something in writing, and it's a disaster. <laughs> so what? anyway, anyone else would have already gotten rid of him because he's never had a real job. If he worked in a real office, which is what his career is, being an office temp. You are a jerk. I'm not a jerk. You're a jerk. I had to get in this somehow, I'm a man. jerk. I I'm a jerk. Why don't you go work for someone else if I'm such a jerk? Who because the calls jerk? their boss a jerk? That's on a what real I'm saying. Job. You that guys never had wait a, second, a real wait a second, job. Robin, what boss humiliates him daily in front of? Because a I'm thinking bosses, lots of no, bosses. no, no. I Maybe in front of a basis. few people, but not in front of everybody. Not it's all relative, world. my friend. The best part of your job is me humiliating you because you might learn something. <laughs> it's what made you a star. He drives me nuts. He drives me crazy. <laughs> he called me a jerk with a megaphone. Yeah. He, I, I would just love to see that on a regular job. I would just. Well, this is it. not a regular job. I would love to have you get a Howard, job. You have the Please, world, somebody hire Bob. Howard, sir, you have the world's biggest megaphone, that microphone, and you're telling the whole world what a Please moron I am. Please go to another place and work. Please. I'm all, I only have a year here left, and you're out of here. You're sure. gone for my life. Good. It's the end of it. Even if I take another radio job, I'm going to say, oh, Gary, they won't hire you. I talk to you're them. You're going to pretend that there's no budget yeah, for him. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, it's going to be the greatest thing in the world. It's going to be my liberation. It's going to be a whole new show. And then you're going to go, and you're going to be, uh, I guess you'll work on other programs, or you'll, you'll become a producer of MTV or something, and then you'll have a real job, and then you'll see what life is really all Such about. Such an angry man. Oh, I can't you wait for you so to find angry. out what a real job is. I can't believe you could take an answering machine message. You know what he needs, Fred? Anger. Fred, like you, he needs to work in Springfield for a few uh, years. It's a humbling experience. Yes. <laughs> You take are a, such a donkey. Take a loyal employee. I can't believe like you don't go hee haw. Take the loyalest guy in the world and <laughs> degrade him. Hee haw. Just be very proud of you. Because you don't take listen. Take a loyal guy who loves you. Would do love has nothing you, to do with I have loyalty all and over the place. Him on a certain, I don't him want on a you in my life level. anymore. I'm just degrade him. I want you to get a real job just so you can call me up and go, Howard. I have no self esteem. I had no idea what it's like to work. You've stripped me of any self esteem I've ever had. I can't wait till he calls me. He goes, Oh my God, they expect so much. I had to stay at the office till 9 o'clock last night. Howard, I want to come back. I've never stayed late. Here. Oh, yeah. He's real loyal, real dedicated to your work. Uh, here's the Gary puppet. Excuse me, Wolf. Yeah. After this fine performance this morning, can I have plastic surgery to look like anybody else on this show? <laughs> anybody, please. You bring uh, him up. Come over here. I got a chisel. I'll give you plastic surgery. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, woodhead. <laughs> at least I only put yeah, You have to get a real job. I'm mad at the puppet. I, I can't wait for the day. In 12 months from now, when you will have your resumes and you are out looking for a real job. 
puppet. And people expect right. something from you. And you know what? You know what my prediction is for you? No, tell you're going to end up as Please. a car salesman. A car salesman. And you're going to. You know what it's going to be like? No one will hire Gary. It'll be bad yeah. for like four or five months, and he'll be like, "Oh my God, I can't get a job producing. I can't get a job producing." And then it'll go on six months, and finally Mary's going to say, "You've got to get work." We've got a Jackson to. Yeah, we got we got a house. We got things to do, and I'll say, "You know, I am. I do have fame from the show." A guy at a car dealership said he would hire me. Because of who I am, oh, and then know? he's going to get there. Then he's going to get there. Listen, to, this is my. I don't see. See if it doesn't come true. He's going <laughs> to get there, and now he's going to hate selling cars. And he's going to dream of the days when he was on the radio with me. And he, oh man, I could have busted my balls. And more. he'll realize what a cushy deal yeah, well, this was. That'll set in first. Yeah. That, and also, what all the perks he had no idea. You don't. Oh, you mean you mean I don't get invited to movie screenings anymore. You know, no it's going to be very, very exciting. PR parties. You mean, you mean, where's my friend Ross, the record company guy? Why isn't he want to see me oh, anymore? Oh, see, I thought when you worked at a so car then, dealership, you got invited to screenings. So no, how stupid am no, I? Now, wait, you wait and see. You haven't, you haven't been on a non-glamour job, but they call it a non-glamour job. Wolf, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, Gary Puppet. My future as a puppet is brighter than Gary's. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't have to eat, and you're not saddled with Baby Jackson. So, so listen to this. So then he gets a job at the car dealership, yeah. and it's like, you know, hey, the car dealer's all excited. He even puts out flyers. Hey, Baba Booey of the Howard Stern Show is now see Baba Booey. Now appearing. <laughs> now appearing, Baba Booey. And it's going to be exciting. The guys, first, and like, it's going to be a little embarrassing because all the other car you know, salesmen are going to go, wow, what is like Gary? I can't believe Gary Delavante is working here and Baba stuff. Baba buy a car. Hello. Welcome yeah. to Toyota of Lachmont. Right. <laughs> so anyway, and then he's going to be there, and now all of a sudden, He's got to sell cars. The reality of the job hits. And the yeah. guy's like, hey, Gary, it's great you're here, but you're not you bringing in. Produce. You haven't brought in any additional business. And then Gary's going to go, well, how can I bring in additional business? People don't know I'm here. <laughs> It'll be, and, and the guy will be like, hey, shut up. Just sell some cars, man, because you're working on commission. And all of a sudden, it's going to be like, oh, my God, I don't believe a nightmare. I had a great life. I mean, when I was under Howard's wing, Howard took care of everything. He babied me and pampered me. He always kept the show going. He got the ratings. Whether I performed or not, whether I, whatever, I finished my computer work or whatever, it didn't matter because Howard would come in with his briefcase, open it up, and he'd have material. I thought this was a team. No, there's no, there's no team. When, it, when it's all said and done, the team, the team started when I was born. That's the team. <laughs> so it's not a, this isn't a team effort. Not from show. yours. Oh, not from you. Oh, my goodness. You're sounding like those people I who know. were in here <laughs> on Friday with the Bella. Yeah. The team. Yeah, and you know what? Team, Howard never. Team. Yeah, you Gary know, thinks he's part of the team. I'll tell you something, Robin. Howard never calls me at home to see how I am, and we never have lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't given you a ride. <laughs> But uh, I'll have the last laugh. But then I'll call, I'm going to call Gary in about two years from now. And I'll go, hey, how's it going? Oh, not so good. What's wrong? Well, I was working at a car dealer for about six weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was bad? Yeah, well, I was working for the guy. And like, he was all excited. And you know, he wanted he had me Howard to Stern. sell stuff. He had Howard Stern, you know, from the Howard Stern. And he expected me to sell all these cars. Yeah. Oh, man, I haven't sold one this month. I really need a sale. And you know what I'll be like? I'll be like. Oh, Gary, that's terrible. Oh, this guy sounds like a real jerk. Hey, oh, I feel so bad for you. Hey, boss, would you So buy then from a, the car you, sales, then, he's gonna, then what's going to happen is, because of his radio background, he's going to say, i got to get back into radio, and he's going to become a radio sales guy. Oh, goodness. And he's going to fail miserably at that. And he's going to hate <laughs> the rest of his life. Well, you left out the part where, for the car dealership, I record the, uh, the messages when you get left on hold, because I do have radio experience. Very good. And in two years, his answering machine message won't be anything about Baby Jackson because Mary and Jackson already left. It'll be like, ha, talk fast. They're shutting off my electricity any second. <laughs> in three years, it'll be a wife beater. Hi, this is Gary. I could, I could have a noose around my neck or I could have a blade to my wrist. Right. That's what you'll be hearing all about it. Bubba burned out. Turn off that radio. Even Jackson ain't returning my calls. I really thought that, like, you know, because I was from the Howard Stern Show, I would get other jobs. I don't understand. Why Uncle, won't, I was set for life. Why won't people just pay me to do nothing like they did at my other job? <laughs> this doesn't work that way. Ma, how my life have changed. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go make more answering messages. Get used to the word formally, too. Formally of the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> he, well, he has time for this stuff. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available right Jackson. now. Jackson. But if you leave your name and a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. 
Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as. What we do you can. do with Jackson? What kind of play do you do? He's like a loaf of bread. He lays there. Yeah, he sleeps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you do? I mean, at this stage of life, <laughs> he can't even turn himself. What kind of You're play? Right a loaf what do you do? What do you do? You <laughs> wave a. You're a, being a kind. Yeah. What do you do? You have a, you wave a thing in front of his you face. You turn on his mobile. We don't do anything. What do you do? What do you mean play with Jackson? You know, I was. It's it's oh. poetic lies. We don't do anything. Because I know with my kids. The kid was like a loaf of bread. Laid you know there. what? Basically, what they can do, you can see if you can get your little finger in their hand and they can squeeze it. Yeah. Oh, he's doing that great. <laughs> and they have no idea. <laughs> I know because my wife used to always say, "Come on in, come on." The baby's doing. You know, honey, you want reality? Want a reality check? The baby's not doing anything. The baby's a bunch of reflexes at this point. Yeah. I mean, you're having fun. At least you have something up to your nipple, and, and it's it, you're supplying food, which yeah. is a miracle of life. I'm standing here. Yeah. Look at the baby root. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Rooting. You know what I did yesterday? The I baby held, eats so well. I, I held him for two hours while he screamed and cried while my wife took a nap. That was what we did yesterday. Oh, you did that? I never did that. Oh, I, you never did that with the first one? No. For that first six months? Nope. I could not handle it. <laughs> I can't handle the crying. But you, have, you know what? If you don't do that, your wife's going to be put in a mental institution. You want to know something? They don't get any sleep. It gets worse. Of course it does. You, don't, you didn't use a baby nurse, huh? No. Man. We had one. Well, we had her, her mom's a nurse. Yeah. Her mom's, oh. and she stayed with us for a week. Oh, the week's up? Oh, well, yeah. boy. Who uh, far? You're all by yourself. Yeah, we've already, out there. We already had a week by ourselves. Did you? Yeah. How's that going? It, she's tired. Yeah. You know, gets up a lot. It happens. She's going to get worse and cranky and snap all the time. You'll see. They change Ooh. real quick. You'll see. And my wife's been talking to me like I'm a child since we got married. Yeah, wow. Well. Like, did you turn the lights off upstairs? Did you throw out the garbage yet? Really? A little general, huh? <laughs> I can relate. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you go, yes, dear. I don't know why guys get married. Do you really Nobody... say yes, dear? No. <laughs> I do. You know what? I say it sarcastically. Then she gets even, then she gets angry. Yes, my love. I go. Oh, no. Better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yes, my love. No one knows better than you do. <laughs> Fred's a weird guy. He'll be in the middle of a sentence. And like he'll know the mic's not on, but he'll just keep saying it. And he then I'll pull the up the mic, thing. and he'll go through the whole thing. He won't start over. He waits for me to say, what did you say? He doesn't hear through the headphones that nobody heard him. Because I, I love no. Yeah, right, yeah. And it's real funny. And, <laughs> so even Gary knows. I'll give Gary credit. When he sits down and I don't have his mic on, he'll stop. And he starts from the very beginning yeah, when the mic is on. He gets it, but Fred refuses to acknowledge <laughs> any of the radio elementary things. <laughs> I'm quite sorry. Maybe I should go make an answering machine message. Fred refusing to acknowledge that, uh, you know, that perhaps I'm running 97 microphones here, and, and I don't know every time he's going to open his mouth. And, and, you know, now that I think about it, even, okay. Fre even Fred was doing Rambo on his answering machine message a few months ago. Was he? What was he doing? I don't remember. Didn't you have, like... Hasn't rambled in years, Gary. Oh, like a Rambo, like about a year ago. Hasn't rambled in years. Rambo. Oh, oh, Rambo. Oh, Ramboed. Haven't Ramboed in years. About a year ago. Yeah. Did you do Not a Rambo close. impression? It was about like, four years ago. Was it that long ago? That long ago. That's how long ago you called me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fred's a professional voice man. He has to show his talents. There you go. That's advertising. Yeah. For Fred. There you go. I would hope that it would get more business. <laughs> I bet you Billy's got some goofy voices oh, on no. his. No no. no, no. He's probably straight. No, no. The only goofy. Used to do that. There's gotcha. only one goofy thing going on at Billy's house. Yeah. What? They've named the estate. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you named your house? No. When they answer, or is that your business? What 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 do they answer? What does your wife say when you call Westlake? Oh, West Woodlands. West Woodlands. Is that what, what is that? Well, because because the name of the area is Woodlands up there. Oh, right there. oh. <laughs> I thought it was. Well, why would she answer the phone that way? But the area that you live in. <laughs> it's like the Ponderosa. Hey, sorry, sorry yeah. Billy. I had, Billy, to, I had Billy, to divert attention. Billy trying to somehow defend. <laughs> it sounded plausible. Like, like, I don't answer, you know, Long Island. <laughs> Black Forest, Germany. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, it's, not a, it's not the Larry King show. Nobody cares where you live. Clear Lake, Lake Iowa. You're on the air. <laughs> yeah, right. Broward County. Go Why ahead. Why does your wife answer with the, the area that you live in? Because uh, that's the business line. It's, it's like and you named your business after West the area? Woodland? Yeah, it's just a, a stupid corporate name. I couldn't oh, think of okay. it. Oh, and she answers it with a business corporation. Uh, yeah. It's, so, she, it's so like, if I, call on, if I call you on one line, it's like, hi, this is V. Right. And if I call right back on the other line, it becomes Westmoreland, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. See, I thought it was like that you guys had named it like that was your estate name. Like, it was, you were calling it West Woodlands like that was like... What are you trying to do, make a jerk out of no, it? No, no, I really... Don't. <laughs> he wants company on the You phone. want company? <laughs> Let's face it. Misery loves it. Let's face it. Billy don't go home to no better roses either. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got his problems. Oh, we all got a crust. Yeah, I think it's time to go to scores again. <laughs> <laughs>